Well, me and Ellie out on another explore today. Just turned up at another bit of new woodland. So, seems to be enjoying it so far. Nice, right, have a look around them views at the back of us over there. You can't see them probably. See if I can get a bit in a bit. Right. Whew. It's up there. Yeah, it's beautiful in these woods. I'm off the uh, well off the main tracks in that now, like as you can probably tell by the lack of them. But, uh, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Ollie! Here he comes. You enjoying it, son? You liking it here, aren't you? Uh, Dad's good boy. Uh, patches of bluebells and then it. Every now and then it opens up into great big swathes of them right through the woods. Beautiful. Well, found a little spot. These two trees. Hither and thither. They look alright. Might be a little bit too far apart, but it should be alright. Ideally, for your hammock, you want them about three and a half, four metres apart. So, from this one, it's one, two, three, and four and a bit. So, to have a, another mess on top of court, I'm in a lather. It's absolutely beautiful day, yes, it is. There's Ollie, at least he's happy, he's found a clump of grass, as normal. I'm sure he was a cow in a previous life. Right, crack on and try these nuts and things out. And that's my tarp set up. Just pegged down by the corners. I, mean, I could have tied it up if I wanted to, I could raise that up and onto the trees there, but yeah. This only came, this tarp's only a cheap one, with the four corner eyelet and the top centre one there. So Joe has stitched me on extra webbing tie backs here so I can, if I wanted to use it as a tent, I've got the options there. So she's put them obviously each halfway between the centres and the end. Uh, Webbings right round, double stitched. So I've just put the ridge line up. This is just two half hitches with a quick release loop. So I just put that stick in there to uh, stop the loop coming through. It, it shouldn't do, but you never know. So it's just a safety thing so the loop can't pull back through on itself. So that's just two double hitches. Oh, look underneath. Room to walk under. Nice and cool. And at the end, this side is just a trucker's hitch, so that's basically a loop, it's fed back through, pull it tight, tight, and then another half hitch with a quick release loop with a stick through again, just stop it pulling through. So basically when I do take it down, all I need to do, pull that stick out, pull on this tag end, and the lot will just come undone. Uh, so it's just pegged down there. Uh, nice and cool. Ollie's just wandering about out here somewhere. But obviously then it gives me room to just hang the hammock. Hang the hammock through. I have to keep shouting him because he's getting braver and braver. Ollie! Ah, oh, there he is. Oh! There he is. Dad boy, you having an adventure as well, son? Good lad. Right, so why it's quiet in that here, I'll uh, hang the hammock and see how visible that green is. Man, I'm not a, I'm well off the beaten tracks so here, like, and stuff, so I suppose far enough back it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't stand out. It's aiming mean, quite a dense wood. So. I'll put the hammock up and see what it's like under it. Right, while you're on, I'll just show you these straps. These are tree hugger straps. Basically a strap that causes no damage to the trees at all. They're all super tree friendly. 
Now the other straps I had was just the tree hugger with one loop down at the very end like that to click your click your carabiner into on your hammock which will make sense I'll show you in a bit but with this new strap it's what's called a dolly strap so all the way down it it's got loops so you don't have to faff on come wrapping your strap round god knows how many times till you get the right height and the right hang with this you just click it into the next strap into the next loop so your hangs right uh, and also with that hanging down as well and your carabine it acts as a bit of a drip cord so when you get water running down it doesn't run onto your hammock it'll just uh, run down the cord and the carabine I'm not saying that there'd be no harm putting a piece of paracord on that as a drip cord but hopefully it should work uh, he's found something he's digging away I hope it's truffles I'll get you some more his ball. I think it went off then for some reason. I think we was recording before. As I was talking. I'd probably knock something to be honest. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Yeah, it would be a lovely little summer camp there. I mean you could even now really I've got a four season bag. Plenty of insulation, you'll be fine under there. Uh, I'll definitely come here like. Right, get a brew on. We need water. Yeah. Stove's on again. So, I think we'll have a brew. And then uh, coffee. And just take down and pack away and go on. He doesn't like, he doesn't like being out too long. And there's my man, he comes with us now, my lovely neighbour, the king, he'd be water the bottle. It's dead handy that like, clip it on or put it in the pocket, ideal, even better that, you ain't not a man, Jane, how he's on. Thanks gent. Right. I don't know if that recorded or not, I'll just show you this at this end, that persimmons loop. So I basically go through there, as I said, it's just a, a loop. You go over a few times and once it's under tension, it doesn't move. But as soon as you loosen it, you can move it up and down. But once it's under, it won't go anywhere. He's just chilling now. We've had our coffee. We'll be on our way. I'll apologise if that repeats itself, because <laughs> I'm not sure whether it's recorded last time or not and I just stick them all in together because I haven't got to edit and think of anything what well, I have but I just stitch them together on a thing I haven't got anything flash so uh, there we go just packing up now hammocks down and I'm just taking this tarp down and then we'll be on our way home right I'll just see if I can demonstrate how this quick release thing works so as I said I put a stop it, stick in to stop it slipping if I take that out then it should just pull that's it off and should happen with the half hitch of the side but I'm going to just pull this line in first so that was basically my full camp <laughs> In them two small bags, there's my hand, that's the hammock, and that's the tarp. That's with the pegs are in there for the hammock and the guidelines, um, for the tarp, sorry, and then obviously in that bag, it's just the hammock and the straps for the tree, and there's my little bum roll. And that's basically full camp, apart from my cook set that's inside there. That was it. So... Yeah, I mean, obviously, extra I would take if I was going to stop, it'd be my sleeping bag and my self inflating mat. And in the bag itself, I've got other bits like a first aid kit. Um, I've got a collapsible prune and saw, um, a pen knife, things like that, you know, just bits and bobs. Oh, look at them. I'm going to go for it on the frying pan. 
Get out, missus. Stuck together. Off my bag. Mucky buggers. Right, there's me coat swinging in the breeze. Right, well that's it. We're going to just pop this stuff in the bag, walk out, call it a day. Again, leave no trace. Wouldn't know I've been here once I pick his lead up and that. But, uh, there we go. Always respect your surroundings. Don't forget we don't own these woods. Mother Nature does. And normally a landowner. So the less mess, well no mess at all, uh, then they can't have a go at you. Or have a worse go at you. But they don't tend to bother you. Okay, bye for now. Thanks a lot. Cheerio.